Hey guys, so it is book buddy a thon time. I just got home from work, so it is 2.44 in the afternoon and I'm about to start buddy reading Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon with Chelsea and I'm so excited. I've already read this but she hasn't and I'm so excited to reread it. Um, but also when I got home, I had a package waiting for me. It's from Penguin Random House. So I'm really excited that I'm gonna open it. Okay, so I opened it and it's The Fate of Ten by Pitticus Law. I don't want to read this because Pitticus Law is James Frey and he is an evil, evil man who rips off authors and takes their money and steals their ideas. And I, yeah, so thank you Penguin so much for thinking of me, but I just, I don't think I'll be reading it. I'm Tales Harry. So I'm currently in the middle of The Jewel by Amy Ewing and I am on page 136. So I think I'll be reading the rest of this throughout the readathon because I don't really want to stop reading it. But I will stop reading it for now to read my baby. I've also just eaten some really delicious McDonald's. Hey Luna. Hey Luna. You're not a cat. You don't need to groom yourself. How many times do I have to tell you? Luna and I are totes ready to start reading. So I'm just randomly outside waiting for Luna to go to the toilet. She's my dog, by the way. That's weird. Um, yeah, so Chelsea and I just finished discussing over Skype Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon, which is the book that we just buddy read together. It was my second time reading it and I loved it so much. It's still one of my favourite books of all time and it's now one of her favourites. And I'm just so, so happy that we read it together. It was so much fun. It's one book and one challenge down, so awesome. For now, I will just keep reading the jewel until I finish it and then after that I think I'll start reading Saga and it'll be great. Hey guys so it's actually day three of the book buddy is on today. I didn't get to update you guys yesterday because I actually woke up with a migraine and I was supposed to work yesterday but I couldn't really do anything for half the day. I stayed up till like 11 30 and I finished the jewel by Amy Ewing. And I have to say, like, the first two thirds were so good, I, I just loved it. But then the last third, it just fell apart. The insta-love was just awful, and there was just so many things wrong with that last third. It was just, yeah. Um, on Goodreads, I originally gave it two and a half, but I've put it up to three stars because I did really enjoy the first two thirds. But um, yeah, I'm just, I'm not sure what my final rating will be, but I'll go over that at the end of the month. But anyway, like I said, it's day three. I'm about to go to university because I have a class today. And then after that, I have another assignment to do. But I do plan on reading at least Saga Volume 1. Okay, so it's now 7pm on day three. And I had uni and I came home and I did some work and then... I reread Saga Volumes 1 to 3. So, rereading Saga Volume 1, I completely just forgot how freaking perfect it is. It's just the best. It's just so good. So, yes, I reread this one, gave it 5 stars. Reread this one, gave it 5 stars. Reread this one and actually lowered my rating, surprisingly, to 4 stars. Um,. I don't know, just the bits with the journalist guys who live underwater, I just found them really boring and I just always wanted to skip over their parts for some reason and yeah, I just felt like there was a lot less action in this one, but I still loved it. So 4 out of 5 stars and then for the first time I read volume 4, which I also gave 4 out of 5 stars because it's, it feels like it's turning into like a... A drama series instead of a sci-fi action series I'm like guys yeah I don't know it's just a very different tone and I, I hope it changes soon but I still I mean I love the series so much so I gave that a four stars but you know I I'm just I'm hoping volume 5 will be a bit more action-packed and a bit more exciting and I'm just super keen so yeah I read four things today which is awesome so I've only got one challenge left to complete. 
So yeah. Um, that challenge is where you pick three books and your book buddy picks one out of the three for you to read. And she picked attachments, so this will be my next read. I'm going to start it tonight. And the other book that was on my TBR was A Midsummer's Nightmare by Cody Keplinger. But I kind of read The Duel instead of that, that challenge, so I'm not sure if I'll still read that. You're so cute. So I've had a really hectic day. Um, I've just been doing an assignment that's due really soon and I'm just trying to power through. But last night I managed to read 23, sorry Moon Boots, 23 pages of attachments and yeah. Oh, book smells good, doesn't it? And then this morning I read a bit more, I'm on page 46, so I'm not very far in at all. Um, but hopefully I will finish what I want to accomplish with my assignment today and tonight I can try and finish the whole thing because I really want to. Hey baby. Hey baby. What you doing? Hey guys, sorry I look like a mess, but it is currently day five. It's a bit after midday. Yesterday I read 102 more pages of attachments and then this morning when I woke up I finished it and it was so freaking adorable it was the cutest oh my gosh it was just so cute hey guys what's up it's april so i'm just gonna quickly go over what i read for the book buddy-a-thon just gonna do a quick wrap up for you so i had so much fun with doing this read-a-thon it was just such a great idea and it was just awesome so yeah let's get into what i read so on the first day chelsea and i buddy read everything everything by nicola yoon this is my paperback copy but you can probably see I also have the hardcover because I have problems. My second time reading it, as you know from my vlogs, but it, this book is just perfection. It's, I can't even. Obviously, I gave this five stars because, <laughs> what? And I was so happy that Chelsea loved it as much as I did. Oh, it's just the best. <laughs> then the next book I completed um, was on day two, and that was The Jewel by Amy Ewing. Um, this is the first book in a dystopian trilogy, and... The second book comes out on the 6th of October. I really, really, really loved the first two thirds of this book. I thought it was so awesome. The world was so interesting. The characters were great. But then the insta-love happened and then everything just went downhill from there. It was just so ridiculous. I just couldn't even deal with the characters. I was just like, what are you even doing? You're so dumb. Anyway, I will be continuing on with the series because I thought it was so intriguing as an idea. I just, I didn't still love. I ended up giving this a 3 out of 5 stars. Then on day 3 I reread Saga Volume 1 by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples. This was perfect and I gave it 5 stars. Then I reread Saga Volume 2 and it was perfect and I gave it 5 stars, obviously. Then I reread Volume 3 and I gave this a 4 stars. The bits with these guys I just found really really boring for some reason and I felt like not as much happened in this one. And then for the first time ever I read Saga Volume 4 which I also gave four stars. It was just a lot slower and had a completely different tone to the first three. And then I didn't finish another book until Saturday and I finished Attachments by Rainbow Rowell which was so adorable. Oh, it's just so cute. Um, I gave this a four and a half out of five stars because I felt like I didn't really get into it until like halfway through. Um, I wasn't really sure about it, but then I was like, yes. So I'll just quickly go over the challenges. So the first challenge was to pick three books and get your book buddy to pick one for you to read. And she picked attachments and I did it. I did it. I did it. I read it. Okay. The next challenge was to buddy read a book with your book buddy. The next challenge was to read a book with your book buddy's favorite color. So I picked the saga volumes because it has yellow. And red. <laughs> the next challenge was to read a book that your book buddy gave five stars. And I read Saga Volume 4, which you gave five stars. And then the last challenge was to read a book that you just really want to read. And my TBR, um, I picked A Midsummer's Nightmare by Cody Keplinger. But I didn't end up reading that instead. I ended up reading The Jewel, which I also really wanted to read because I was currently reading it at the time. So, yeah. So there you have it. 
these are all the books that I read for the book buddy a -thon. I managed to read three novels and four graphic novels throughout the week which I'm super happy with considering I had two huge assignments due that week so yeah what did you guys end up reading for the book buddy a -thon? I'd love to know and I'll see you really really soon with a new video goodbye